My name's Adam. Welcome back to Driven Nashville. We are at Barber Motorsports Park right outside of Birmingham, Alabama. One of the world-class tracks in the United States. If you haven't had a chance to go, you really should. Now we're here with Fields Auto Works. Now these guys have made a very, very, very good car. And we're going to demonstrate not only on the track, but also talk a little bit about the vehicle, including engine, interior, exterior, ordering process, the price of the vehicle. Now the car is actually originally, and I should say loosely based, on a 1965 Alfa Giulio. So, I think it's called a TZ2. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that is what this car is originally based off of. It has an EcoBoost four-cylinder in it. it. Makes around 300 horsepower. Also has a Tremec six-speed. Has auto blip technology. Now this is the perfect car for somebody like me who has an MX-5 Miata, who maybe wants to spend a little bit more money and have a whole lot more performance, right? This car will take down 3RS. In fact, we were actually on the track just a little while ago. We were taking down GT500, we were taking down CA Corvettes, like they were nothing. Because this car only weighs 1,800 pounds, it is unbelievably capable on a racetrack. So with 300 horsepower, don't let that fool you, this is a very, very fast car. It's completely custom made. So in this video, you're gonna get all the information you could possibly want about the car. I'm gonna bring on Steve, he's one of the directors of the company next, and he's gonna explain a little bit about some of the details of how they got to where they are today, and then also where they're heading, and a little bit about the ordering process if you're interested in buying one of these. So stick around, this is gonna be a good one. to your potential customer or the audience here regarding Sure. That. I think the biggest thing I'd say is if you're looking for a good way to get on track, to do it affordably and safely and at a low uh, cost of maintenance, you know, we offer performance that's not really attainable at this price point anywhere else while maintaining that safety and reliability and, and really, frankly, easy ownership experience. Um, you also have the opportunity to get in early on something that we're going to be building for the years and decades to come and building a, a community and a, and a customer base that I think are really going to be happy with these cars. Fantastic. And one, one thing I want to add, when he says levels of performance, this is essentially putting GT4 Club Sport performance. That's a $200,000 vehicle for $70,000. That's what we're talking about here. But, uh, what's the genesis of the vehicle in your mind? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, myself, my father, and some of the other principals of the company, uh, we all come from the open wheel See, world or sports racers, racers like that. And, uh, you know, we were really looking at what it takes to get on track, come out here and, and participate in track days, but also something you can take to the hotel, something you can drive home. And so our experience... So it is straight legal. It can be. It's up to the customers. But our, our background in that really led us to, you know, Part of what, what isn't fun for people is when you have, you know, parts breaking, you have to wait six months for parts from England, or the parts are very expensive, it's difficult to maintain the car, or you chew through tires every weekend, things like that. So we really set out to build something that was nostalgic and cool, but really high performance for a very, you know, maintainable, low consumable cost level. And I think we've really achieved that. You know, we're, we're, we're finally starting to get production cars out in the world here. Our customers are, are giving us great feedback on how the cars are performing. And the maintenance cost, the serviceability, everything that we, we set out to hit our marks on were. Uh, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, I, I agree. It's, it's, it's 
pretty incredible around track, honestly. Um, I'm blessed to have been in a lot of, frankly, track cars. Uh, 600 McLaren, LTs, right, and 3 RSs of the world, and 2 RSs of the world, and this thing is pulling some Gs. I think you guys can get up to about 1.6, 1.7 well, Gs on this thing. Depending on the setup of the tire, we'll see over 2. Over 2 Gs. Uh, so definitely enough to get the stomach, uh, you know, a little, a little disturbed. I'll just say that. Okay guys, here's Steve, one of the directors of the company. So Steve, what is the genesis of the uh, the idea, right, for the car, this, this car? We designed to build the chassis, the suspension, and the body. Right. But all of the parts, everything from the radiator to the exhaust to ball joints, wheel bearings, steering gear, all that kind of stuff, is all off the shelf from, again, if, if you could service a base model Mustang, you know, sure. Breaks, you could fix it, right? Yeah. In your garage was, or in your, you know, truck, right? That was the design scope of the car. Which, which I think you guys have nailed in so many ways. And, uh, you know, I know you're going to get to a level of production fit and finish that is even beyond this, correct? Yes. Yeah. That, so that's, that's going to be uh, really great. And they are delivering cars. In fact, I think a customer took a delivery yesterday, if I recall. In fact, this is one of Yes. All right? So yeah. this is for track, tra just yeah, tracking. We've got, we got customer car here and our prototype yeah, car, car here. here. And definitely some improvements have been made. So what does this uh, vehicle cost? And I, and I understand you can get different engine options, right? That can change your cost. So. Yeah, the, the, the basic car and the prototype car was built as a zero option car. No options at all. The basic car from in the end. Uh, and a, the packages start at 49.9, and that's a complete car, less an engine and transmission, which we buy from by the motor for four components with the controls pack, so it's a, it's a pre roll ready to go engine and controls you know, ECU and wire harness. And then the transmission is a Tremec T at the six pack and six speed. Um, and uh, that's available for any number of vendors, check or something, so it's off the shelf. Um, but you can buy a, a track ready car that you pick up at our shop, go up the road to Mid Ohio. Put gas in it and make hot laps. Right. We're right about seventy. You hear that? that? So seventy thousand dollars, and you can have a three RS level of performance. We also wanted to reduce the amount of maintenance and service that the car required, both at the track between sessions and at home between events. Right. I mean, so, the Eco Boost. What? Change the oil a couple times. Yeah, change the oil. That's like good. literally it. But we'll come here, run the car several sessions in the morning and several sessions in the afternoon on both days and basically we'll put gas in it bleed the brakes and check air pressures and that's it and we might bleed the brakes you know today yeah and then and, and that you know the day today we're good. right and, there, and there's so few cars really guys when you get into tracking that are reliable frankly you know they they all are finicky like I was, uh, there was an M4 just just over next to me, and he was having air intake issues that was putting the car in limp mode yeah. after like four laps. It's no fun when you come out here with your brand new M4 and it goes into limp mode on lap, on lap four. Meanwhile, we're over here just doing 17, 18 laps like a woman. Right? Yeah, one of the questions that I get from guys that are have either turbo cars or supercharged cars. How many laps before it start pulling timing and boost? Right, and, and, and that's it. It's heat. They heat soak and they're done. Never Especially had on hot days. Okay. Never had that happen. Yeah, and so again, it's all levels of consciousness to the racing game, like any game. And so when you really get into it, you do multiple vehicles, you do three RSs, and you start changing three fifteen tires. Right. You get into GT500s that have 17 gallon gas tanks and might be able to get you 15 laps before you have to go to the gas station. Like these are the problems with, with track cars, right? And this is something that is turnkey. So I'm not selling you the car. Today is just an opportunity to explore what it is and see it on the track. And we're really thankful that you guys had us out today and um, really appreciate you coming. Hey, you know, we can't do it without you, right? It's a, 
great relationship that we get to have. And I'm going to do some parade laps here uh, just to give you my impressions of the car. And then we'll go ahead and do a conclusion and wrap up. If you have any questions about the vehicle, you know, go ahead and drop them in the comments. You know, I don't know if this video will get a thousand views or it'll take off. It doesn't really matter to me. If you're interested in the vehicle, if, you, if you're familiar with the track scene and this makes sense for you, it's not an expensive car. Do you offer financing or is it just a cash we, deal? We maybe? do have a financing. Okay, so you have a bank, so you can do a 60 month on this, right? At a, I mean, I know interest rates are high right now. It'll <laughs> probably be 7 8%, well, but you know. It's like financing anything. Right. Yeah. So, you know, you could even finance the car. And uh, now, is there a warranty? That's probably a good thing to think about, or, you know, any support after you deliver the vehicle that the customer can expect? Well, Something great. Yeah, so the we do stock parts for the car, for the parts that we make. And for most of and the, all this is warranted by Ford, right? For Ford, assume, Ford so. does have a, a warranty available on the crate okay. uh, and we pass that through you to, to okay. the to the customer. Is that a four-year something, or is it a little less than that? Like I've had a car. I believe it's two years. Two years. Yeah. And uh, I mean, and guys, honestly, this, there's nothing really to break. I mean, the engines are bulletproof. I mean, unless, After, you, unless you put 450 pounds of boost in it or whatever, it, right? Like, the know. engines have proven to be extremely durable. Sure. I mean, you could probably go, what, 20, 25 pounds of boost on this thing? I mean, not probably. Uh, the, the, they are well supported in the tuner market. And those, yes. And I, I, I'm, I'm not qualified to. How much boost do you run in today at stock? <laughs> stock boost is only like six or eight. Pounds. Six, yeah. yeah. So, and, and you're going to hear the turbo, by the way, if you probably already have on some of the montages. So this car definitely sounds good, I'll tell you. Well, guys, if you made it this far into the video, first of all, thank you. Really appreciate it. I can't do this channel without you guys. You're liking, you're subscribing, etc. We also want to give a big, huge shout out to Automotive Touch Up. These guys make world-class OEM grade paint protection, excuse me, paint correction products, right? If you do happen to get a couple of rock chips, a couple of stones, etc., that go and damage your beautiful paint job, these guys can do an OEM match, made to order, right? Non, you know, literally, guys, non water based, like the real deal, right? So, thank you to them. Let me sum this car up, right? I think that it's something unique and something different in the marketplace. I mean, that's for sure. I mean, without question, right? You drive one of these things to your cars and coffee events. If you don't have it swarming with interested people, I'd be surprised, frankly, especially if you get a really radical color, right? Now, if you get into the track world, right, there are literally hundreds of, car of drivers here today, right? They're, they're, they're running, I think, two or three intermediate classes today, in addition to an advanced and a beginner's class, right? And there's instructors. So it's a whole universe, guys. I just, you know, so when you actually get into this world and you start driving these cars and experiencing how expensive Cup 2 tires are and fuel and, you know, brakes and everything else, I mean, let's put it this way. You can have a set of carbon ceramic brakes, right, for a 600LT McLaren or a 3RS, or you could have almost an MX-5 Miata. So that's a $25,000 brake kit with, with you know service and everything, or you can have an entire vehicle. So the point I'm trying to make is for 70 grand, you get those type of vehicle performances, right, the 3RSs of the world, the cups, you know, the GT4s of the world, but you're not spending the money, right? So a lot of value. And I hope that you got a somewhat of an idea of how this car was like to drive when we took it out on the track. It, it, it's, it's definitely something. It, you, you're gonna have to be a good driver, okay? It's got ABS, yes. It's got auto blip technology, yes. But it's, it's not like it's paddle shifts, right? And the car's driving for you. So while it also looks retro, it kind of has that old school driving feel. Now, I drive a 05 MX-5 Miata, right? So I sure as hell enjoy driving the car and not having the car drive me. So from that point of view, I think if you're a good driver, you got a little bit of money and you want to get into this world, there's not too many products that are going to be as cool and unique as this and also deliver the same levels of performance. That's my conclusion on the car.